With us, welcome back to Journalist Hangout on Sunday. I've been hanging out with Babaji De Kola Deotitoju and Chris Kende Uwandu. Let's move on to our next uh, discussion, gentlemen. Persistent crisis within a group suggests that all is not well. The same can be said about the Labour Party. It's just concluded national convention is facing integrity tests, while six members of the Enugu State House of Assembly dumped the party for the People's Democratic Party, PDP. In the face of these, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 election, Peter Albi, who is the rallying point for the party at the moment, has threatened to dump the party ahead of the 2027 elections. Obi, however, reaffirmed his membership of the party, explaining that he did not attend the national convention because the national chairman, Julius Sabure, did not embark on wide consultation before the exercise. Meanwhile, the member representing Igbo is a South constituency in the Enugu State House of Assembly. Harrison Ogara has described as false the claim that there is a leadership crisis in the party. Reacting to the defection of six members to the PDP, Ogara maintained that there is no crisis in the party to warrant the defection, stressing that the claim is untrue and deceptive. PQ, what's happening? Well, the... I really sympathize with the Labour Party. Um, I think it was Sankey Oshintoku who said the Labour Party may eventually break into three factions. Right now, all the signs are there that the party will break up. The, the different tendencies within the party are struggling for control of the party. The, lab, the, <clears throat> the Labour Party was actually formed in the year 2002 by <clears throat> the NLC and its uh, affiliates. It changed, it took over the party called Party for uh, Social Democracy. They took it over, then they changed the name to the um, Labour Party. So the parent body is actually the NLC. Today, Ajero and his colleagues in the political wing of the NLC want to take firm control of the Labour Party. They accuse Ajero, um, Abure. Abure, by the way, used to be the national legal advisor of the party. He was also national secretary. Then, when their chairman died, Abdul Razak, when he died, they, they made Abure chairman. In the past, uh, in fact, there was real um, topsy turvy over his choice, but eventually they settled for him. So today is the chairman. What I see, if you read what um, Peter Obi said, Peter Obi didn't just say that um, Abure didn't consult widely. He went as far as saying, look, we want to change them, mm. but they are reluctant to agree to change. If they continue, we will leave the party for them. He said that in black and white. And how do you organize a national convention? We are the biggest people in your party fail to attend. Abure is a very delusional party national chairman. Today, if we take Obi out of the Labour Party, the Labour Party will become like a cadaver. Obi didn't attend the National Convention, where he was rubber stamped, will go for another term. Former Afghan National Chairman, Victor Ume, did not attend. Way. the former uh, um, pseudo leader, 
who is also a very strong uh, labor leader. Um, I mean, strong labor party member. Tony away, also stayed away. The big wigs stayed away. The obedient group, the obedient group are today the largest group within the Labour Party. They were not originally Labour Party members, but they moved into Labour Party with the desire in mind to use it to actualize Peter Obi's ambition. They saw Peter Obi as more decent than other politicians. It's not, um, there's no evidence of corruption that anybody has nailed on him beyond some of what we hear and all that. Yes, we know he's not a saint, but there's no way you can put him side by side with some politicians and you will say there is no difference. So it was a case of uh, uh, this is the better Let's devil. Um, yeah. We support okay. the better devil. They see all politicians as devils, but they saw in Peter will be a much better Not devil so much than his colleagues. So they invested their support in him. The obedient group is tired of Abure at this time. And that's why you see the uh, see Peter Obi's body language does not go with Aburi anymore. It is very clear. You see the way he spoke, even using the scripture to say, look, we cannot, we, 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 if we want to change them, they don't want to agree. We'll we, we, we will live for them. So what this means is if Abure continues to hold on tenaciously to that position and they don't find a way to bring other uh, stakeholders uh, into the picture. The party will break up. Already the, the INEC didn't supervise the convention. That's and that's already a legal problem because it is mandatory. I don't want to use the word supervise because I think it's wrong. It is mandatory for INEC to attend mm. your convention because when you say supervise means that they are to um, observe uh -huh, to observe how you do your convention. That didn't happen. I don't know where Abure and Co made the mistake mm. because somebody in more in the more in the bigger parties, somebody is attached to INEC who will be interfacing with the person who will come. They will even take good care of them, you know, give them welfare and all that. But in this case, INEC stayed away. And INEC announced that it did not observe the convention. The conduct of the convention. So that creates a legal problem. For me, Abure has no reason to be going around as chairman. Don't forget the, the, the House of Reps caucus of the party also said they are not interested in Aburi anymore. So the, the Gulf is expanding. I see in the, in the coming days, it will be clear what the obedient group would want to do. If they can get hold of the party, they, they take control of the party, kick. You know they don't like hearing about corruption and all that. Already the treasurer of the party has accused Abure of looting about three point something billion. That is the money that they made from uh, expression of interest uh, form. The same people who said, look, we formed the party so that um, the ordinary worker can contest for elected positions. Before our eyes, they are selling forms as, for as high as 50 million and all that. How can the ordinary man buy a form for 50 million? I mean, that hypocrisy has to end. But well, if you ask me, things uh, are not um, working well. If, it, if this were an electoral season, we will see the crisis in the Labour Party in its full ramification. But elections are still far away. So you may not, those cracks may not become so open to the point of even damaging the chances of the party. But they still have time. Mm -hmm. Let's keep our eyes on Peter Obi and his obedient movement. Let's see um, what they will do. Maybe they will 
uh, use legal means to take control of the party. If they can't take control of the party, I'm sure they will go somewhere else. All right, Sikir, now that Peter Ibu is talking, how do you think this will end? It's quite unfortunate what is happening in the Labour Party. Um, when you look up and see the way and manner some people embraced the Labour Party at the last presidential election, you, some of us thought that the Labour Party is going to be like a third force, as it were. But from what is coming out, it's obvious that, um, as Chino Achibe said in his book, things fall apart. Things are really falling apart, and the centre can no longer oh. hold. In Labour Party, as it were, now we have three groups. We have the obedient uh, movement, just as uh, BQ said. We have the NLC movement. Then we have the Abure movement. What about the Papa movement? Uh, mm. I don't, <laughs> they are not in the picture. Like, for, the picture the like, for the idea. Mm. They lost the so case. They, so. they lost the case. They lost the case. So they are not in the picture. So I, I don't really look at that. Those, these ones are the three. And when you look at look at the faces, we, we are showing the, the faces of the people at the convention the last time. I'm sure that our, our producers will bring it up again. Look at all those faces. How many faces can you recognize there? I didn't recognize a single person. I couldn't, apart from Aburia, there is no single face mm -hmm. I recognize there. None. The, the Senate caucus was not there. The House of Representative caucus was not there. The caucuses from the state houses of assembly was not there. Did they mention um, P2B and the only governor they have is Governor T. He was not there. Was Although not. his deputy was there. But neither here nor there. But ordinarily, if other members were there, all the key members, if peace governor. No convention today. Wait, Even the president will, will be there. So who were the people? And, so that is the issue. Now, I personally would just say that Abure is shameless. Sorry for the use of it's, words. It's just greedy for power. That is, so. that is just it. The greedy for power, the greed for power that's is a, an overriding factor. That's a normal uh, politician. That's a normal politician. A Nigerian politician. Yes, normal, but his own has taken it to the extreme. Mm. He has been lucky enough. Mm -hmm. I will tell you that Buru never, in his widest, never believed that he would be the national chairman of the mm. Labour Party. And you see where he has got himself. A man that is tried in serious corruption allegation, mm. although he's still in court. Even forgery. And forgery. And he's still coming and, uh, and look at what he did. He thought he can be economic, uh, he can be economic by half. And I think he still has a this case is, to the police. This is uh, convention. So this is convention. See the people standing on his back. Hmm. Then, th th just to him, he now came up with a Greek gift. A Greek gift. Yes. But now you're trying to use it as, hey, Peter B, we have given him, 20, we are in 2014. Uh, 2024. Mm -hmm. Somebody is saying that he has given somebody. He doesn't even know whether he will stay. He will leave till 2027. So that shows he you the man. Uh, the, yes, governor. He gave uh, that shows you a man that is very desperate. But I will tell you, in as much as uh, we shouldn't forget the fact that people are just saying, "Oh, uh, Labour Party came up." Um, no, 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 no. Labour Party. We've forgotten that Labour Party once had a governor, a, a governor, in the person of Shegumimiko. Yeah. So it's not a party that is, uh, if you understand what I mean. But the fact is that there is a total need for the Labour Party to get its bearing right. And I will say it just as Biko repeat. Remove P2B from the Labour Party. The soul of that party is gone. But the question you are going to ask yourself, if P2B leave the Labour Party, where is it going to? Maybe is it going to back to PDP? Hmm? Or is it going to go to SDP? Or is it going to... Uh, so it is a very, it is like, it is like a bull in a Chinese... Um, glass shop. That is what we're having now. But things are not looking good at, at all. The BOT has tried to st step in by refusing to recognize mm. the convention that was held uh, in Anambra State. They said they are going to be running the party. They said they are going to be running the party. What I don't know is... The the end of the end of uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, I've never seen I've never the party disown this. The own BOT. N NWC, NEC, disown the BOT. I've that. never seen... Who are the owners of the party? The owners of the party are the BOT. Yeah. Because they, most of them are people that the people behind it. And the BOT also includes the, the NLC. The biggest advisory uh, uh, committee of the party. Yes. Yeah. But my fear, my, as I sign up, my fear in this is that is the political dimension that the NLC is being, being put into this. You know why? 
it will be difficult for Ajero to be an opposition, <laughs> uh, to be president of NLC. At the same time, I'm still fighting for a political party because the whole primary responsibility of the president of NLC is to fight for the workers of Nigeria. And anything short of that, he will be seen as being partisan. If Ajero raises his voice tomorrow, and say he's going to go on strike, he wants to do this. The first, the, what the government will say is that this man is, a, is a, an interested party in the case. He is a member of a political party, and most often than not, that would bring a big uh, uh, challenge um, to the person. Of, uh, so that is why this well, party has to be very, very careful. This is an ongoing development. We'll be here to monitor and see how this is. We are here. All right, gentlemen, let's move on. The reforms in the banking sector.